guys, me Ethan, back with another video, and today we are doing another meat vlog. It is Nationals, the last meet of the season. We're gonna rock and smash it, have lots of fun. See you guys there. We are driving down to Reno, Nevada for Nationals, and afterward, we are gonna stay an extra week on vacation. We're gonna go to Lake Tahoe, and then on our way back, we're gonna go to Yellowstone. It's gonna be lots of fun. So we're gonna do a lot of things and stay an extra week for vacation. After Nationals, which we're gonna rock on our way while we're driving, we're gonna see Mount Rushmore. It's gonna be pretty cool. We've been watching a lot of Lord of the Rings on our way because we have a TV in our car. And we're about two hours away from Mount Rushmore, which I'm really excited for. Gonna eat some food and relax. We took a quick pit stop at Wadrug. It's snowing in South Dakota. That is not okay, you guys, not okay. We finally made it to Mount Rushmore, but it is super foggy and snowy out, so who knows if we'll actually get to see it. It's so foggy out, this might be the only thing we get to see at Mount Rushmore. That's not good. You might not get to see the real thing. So that was an absolute total waste of time because you could not see Mount Rushmore at all. So on our way home, we might try and come back because, yeah, because we want to see it. And so we're gonna try to come back on our way home. There it is, now day two. I didn't really talk yesterday before I went to bed. Today, we are now in Nevada, so we went through Wyoming, Utah, and then now we're in Nevada. So now we're just on our way to Reno, to our hotel. It'll probably be about four and a half hours left, five hours. We are finally in our hotel room. It was about 30 hours of driving with some breaks in between there. So we're just gonna relax a little bit right now. Later we have podium training, which we're gonna go just touch the equipment. We actually get to try it on the competition equipment, so we get to feel what it's like. But right now, all my teammates made me a card. So I'm gonna open it up. And there's a bunch of cards. So good luck at Nationals from Reed. Stick it. Good luck, Ethan. Sincerely, Mitchell. Guys, we all the time. Ethan, this just happens to be one of those super awesomely good times. Congratulations. Go for gold. Ethan, you got this. Awesome. Then, guys. Iron Cross. Good luck at Nationals, Ethan. From here. And then good luck at Nationals from Declan and then his sister on It says this is not a bill. <laughs> Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Best of luck. Good luck, Ethan. You should be very proud of all you accomplished. Shelly. Sherry. Uh, good luck at Nationals, Ethan. Do your best. Don't miss a giant. <laughs> oh, Connor, this is one from Connor. It says, it says, good luck at Nationals, Connor. Do your best. In boxes, don't miss a giant. <laughs> oh, that's funny. If you guys saw my regionals video, yeah, I fell on the giant. But thank you team for all these cards. So thanks for all the support, TCT. We are now gonna go search the hotel for a little bit. We'll probably go check out the pool and the fitness center. And then afterward, we're gonna head to podium training, just touch the equipment, as I said before. It's not gonna be a full workout. It'll be short, an hour and a half to two hours, probably, and we'll be done. Now at the convention center, where I'm gonna do my gymnastics, we're gonna smash out a quick, short workout. We're gonna get my national singlet and bag, so let's go inside.
Uh, I'm ready for tomorrow. We're gonna compete tomorrow, and then we'll compete on Saturday as well. I'm not gonna run into the door. More boys. Um, we're going to eat dinner with a level nine gymnast named Nate Bonds. He's competing at nationals this year as well. So it's gonna be fun. He's from Region Three. Yeah, we follow each other on YouTube. You gotta subscribe if you haven't already. This is Nate Bonds, a level nine gymnast. Below. Thanks for watching. Yeah. So every year a gymnast qualifies for nationals, they get this nationals singlet with the year and region four gets black, representing region four, uh, symbol of qualifying for nationals. So this is mine, but it's pretty small. So I don't know if this is gonna fit me, but we're, we're gonna try. This thing is like tight, tighter than tight. I can barely get it on me and it's pinching. And in the back, you can see my skin, it's see-through. So yeah, we have to, like two days and then we're done. <laughs> so we're gonna end day two right there. It's been a long day, I guess I'd say. We got in. Went to relax, went to podium training, then went out to eat. Um, now, just gonna probably go to sleep pretty soon. Beach, yeah, I guess. Got Gavin here. And then just relaxing right now, go to bed pretty soon. I've been up for a while, forgot to record this morning. I ate breakfast, we relaxed for a little bit. Now my mom is at a library printing something or doing something with that. So we are at a park right now, just relax, or doing, just hanging out. All ready for my meet, ate lunch, got my bag packed, got some snacks, ready to go. Gonna have lots of fun, gonna smash it, rock it. You guys will not get to see until, well, unless you watch my video, my meet video. So, I'll see you guys after my meet. that often because well they're in totally different regions. So we went swimming, had some pizza, played some games, relaxing and so that's probably a wrap a day three. Tomorrow is Friday so we'll probably go watch our or I'm going to go watch my level 10 teammate tomorrow. It is the beginning of day four. It is now Friday. Um, I'm dressed and stuff. I'm a VIP, I'm a VIP gymnast. Gonna, so I'm gonna go watch my level 10 teammate in a little bit. Gonna have some fun, gonna eat breakfast pretty soon. I haven't really recorded all day other than this morning, but first we went to my level 10 senior gymnast Biller's meet. It was that I got to hanging out with David, who was rotating with me in optionals and will rotate with me during tech sequences. I got to see Caden McCafferty from Gymnastics Olympica again. Um, and then we came back, we just ate lunch, and then we swam. So it is the beginning of day five, meet number two today. It's technical sequences, gonna have lots of fun. Last night I was just so tired that I forgot to close the, or the day four out, so I just went to bed. So today, it's day five. 
gonna rocket smash everything you think of at 10 sequences. We are about, well, we're on our way to our car to go to the meet. Tech sequence is gonna have lots of fun. I am in the same rotation with the people I had on Thursday for optional routines, so that'd be kind of fun to be with the same people. So, see you guys then. So I can't even sprint, so trying to do vault is really, really hard. So you just fought through the pain? Yeah. This is going to be, we're going to have a two-part vlog video. The first part is my meet, so that's, we're almost done with this vlog. This was me, it's vlog, which was lots of fun. I'll do a reflection a little bit later, so that's when we'll end it. But. The next part of the vlog will be on our vacation. So right now we're gonna head to Lake Tahoe and stay a couple nights there. And later we'll go to Yellowstone and Mount Rushmore. We are back home, had lots of fun on my vacation at Nationals. Now I'm gonna do my reflection. I thought the meet went pretty well, but it was definitely consistent. On optionals, I started on horse and had a pretty good horse. I mean, it could have been a little bit better. Usually I do triple Russian, but I ended up, on my first run, I ended up doing two because I like started falling off, so I just decided to stop and go to my next trick. And at the end, the same thing, but I only ended up doing one there. And then I went to rings, and I thought it was my best rings of the season, and then I have one of my lowest scores of the season. So I don't know what happened there, but I thought it was one of my best ones. Vault, I've been working through an injury on my leg, so I can barely sprint, so I had to get through it. I landed my vault, which is good. And high bar was, well, because of my leg injury, I had to take out my stall or an endo, so it was uh, just the most basic routine you can do. And that was, I mean, it was just normal. Then floor was, a little bit weird, but it was like nothing big. Just a few steps and landing errors. And then tech sequence was, once again, just consistent. It like didn't have my best routines ever, but I didn't have my worst. They were just like in the middle. Um, floor and high bar were a little bit lower than usual. P bars was normal. Vault was low because of my leg. And then horse was amazing. I got a 9.5 out of 10, and because of that, I hit a 22 with both days. So I took sixth place on Pommel Horse altogether, which is really awesome. And at Nationals, they only go out six places, so that was pretty cool to get it my first year at Nationals. So this is my Pommel Horse medal. On the back, it says sixth place PH, which stands for Pommel Horse. And came with this little case for it, so we can put it in there and set it aside for now. Finishing in sixth with a 22 even score from Twin City Twisters, Ethan Cox. The meet was consistent overall. It was really fun to hang out with my level 10 teammate. So we did hang out a lot. It was an amazing experience and lots of fun to do it. While I was there, I got to meet a lot of people and just hang out with a lot of people that I have already met as well. So that was really, really fun. I mean, this is my first national, so I wasn't coming in expecting to win or anything like that, but I just 
came in to have lots of fun and I did exactly that and had a great time. It was probably the best experience of my life so far. There's gonna be bigger and better ones, but so far that was one of my best experiences ever. Just wanna give a big thanks to all my coaches, my parents, and all of you for supporting me on my journey. It has been an amazing journey. It has been lots and lots of fun. There's been ups and downs through the whole thing, and I came out strong in the end. So I've been taking a few weeks off after nationals. We're in the middle of that right now. As you can see, just relaxing. Um, so it's really hard because I love gymnastics, so it's hard not to do anything. I'm still doing the mental stuff because I can't not think of gymnastics at all, so I still think about it 24-7. Just can't do it because it's a long-term decision to heal my body up because if I can't if it just hurts it's not gonna end up being very much fun and it's just gonna be hard to do more things. I'm excited for the summer because we're not doing any routines and I just get to learn new skills until fall so I get uh, three I get actually like five months of just learning new skills and doing basics and stuff like that so I'm excited for that because we all we do is we pretty much only do routines during the competition season so I'm ready to start learning new skills. Now that the season's over I'm not going to stop doing videos there just won't be any new videos but I'm excited to share new series ideas and uh, just fun content like such as Gymnast Does Ninja. You guys better watch out for that one. I'm pretty good at Ninja. So that'll be lots of fun and we I'm going to be doing my second ever Q&A. If you have your questions in, by Friday, May 31st, I will be able to answer them in my Q&A. You can comment in the comment section below, or you can DM me on Facebook or Instagram. But make sure you have your questions in before Friday, May 31st. We also got a bonus video for you. We got some footage while on vacation, so if you want to see that video, click right here. If you want to see my optional video, click right here. If you want to see my tech sequence video, click right there. And remember, stick to this one on that subscribe button. And see you guys next time.